Good evening, humans. Terrence Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Collection TMNT crossover Xavier Woods figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks utterly fantastic. Just really good stuff all around. Uh, first off, you know, just overall the build I think is just pretty much perfect for Xavier Woods. And then we get the just gear, and that's obviously one of the focuses here, uh, it being TMNT themed, and they nailed it. Like the colors, the bright, bright green, the nice bright yellow, the purple, just that perfect shade. Obviously, I'm a fan. Um, just, yeah, they, they absolutely killed it here. Awesome stuff. We get the turtle shell on the back. Just really cool looking gear at a baseline, and they just really brought the next level with those colors. Uh, then we get the likeness and just absolutely spot on likeness of Xavier Woods. Uh, we get this awesome hair sculpt going all the way around. Uh, we get these pur purple streaks. Uh, they did kind of lose the script at the top here. I don't know what's going on. There. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or if it is supposed to be too definitive line just going straight back. But uh, either way, definitely a welcome addition. Doesn't detract at all, especially because it's on the top, but I uh, found that interesting. But uh, I also just absolutely love this expression. The really just wide smile, just fantastic. Just awesome looking figure overall. Yeah, so yeah, great looking figure. We get a really fun assembly of accessories here. So let's jump right in and uh, for hands, we get our requisite C-grips right out of the box. Then we get a pair of splayed out hands. So great work all around there. Then we get into the, I guess you'd call it entrance gear, <laughs> but uh, we do get a pair of sunglasses slash the uh, turtles bandana. Really love this. It kind of looks like they took a sunglasses sculpt and then just kind of added the uh, you know, back band and the, the band down here. Just it fits the figure perfectly. It looks great. Colors are perfect. Just awesome stuff. Then we get the vest and this is awesome. Again, you get those nice bright colors. Obviously the green's a little more subdued here, uh, but we do see that purple come back. And we even get some nice kind of like honeycomb pattern going on here at the bottom, which kind of matches the shell motif. Obviously we get the tied belt piece and then the shell on the back. So obviously, you know, kind of a new sculpt, uh, which really fits this, shows the effort they're putting in here. Uh, then we get, I guess I'll start off here, which we actually do get a weapons rack fully assembled. See the WWE symbol there with a couple of holders and then a base. And this comes apart pretty easily. Um, so you see that and uh, you get some cool wood grain going on. That is to hold the weapons. And uh, Xavier actually comes with a lot. You get a couple of pipe pieces here. You can see that. And uh, you know, there's a hole there at the top, the peg at the bottom. Uh, same for this, which is a different design. You can see that going on there. I get this peg here and these do attach together. And I don't know if there's a certain way they're supposed to go or what, but kind of a cool addition. I'm not really sure what the, exactly is supposed to be, especially because we do get a full staff. And really cool that they kind of did the opposite of what you usually see for Donnie's staff, where the uh, wraps are on the ends, which is a really interesting choice. And then we get that wood grain in the middle. Obviously it's that really nice bright purple. Uh, we do get it look like a couple of pegs on the end, but these do not attach that way, which is really interesting. So you can see that that kind of just doesn't fit. So I'm not really sure what the intention was for those, but uh, still just really cool additions and really a lot of accessories. So that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here are beautiful. As you can see, freestanding kicks took no time to get into it all. And pretty much our standard, um, you know, kind of rundown for an elite. So we get some absolutely fantastic up, uh, some great down, great tilt as well. Probably some of the best head articulation I've seen on an elite and uh, rotation, of course. Hinge and swivel at the shoulders brings us up into a perfect T. We do get bicep swivel, double jointed elbows bring us to there. We do get hinge and swivel at the wrists, all horizontal, of course. We get our traditional ab crunch, which brings us that far forward, which is very nice. Uh, not so nice on the back, we just kind of run in, so more or less at neutral. We do get waist swivel for the hips, almost full splits, positively beautiful. Front kick, perfect 90. We do get thigh swivel, double jointed knees to bring us to about there. We do get boot swivel, beautifully hidden. And we get perfect point, 
some decent forward, but we're running into the sculpt of the kick pads and then not really a whole ton of rocker, which is probably why the stability is really nice. Uh, and that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other WWE figures. With some other wrestling lines. With some domestics. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as Velvet's Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection TMNT crossover Xavier Woods figure from Mattel is that this figure absolutely kicks ass. Just, it looks amazing. Fantastic accessories. Um, yeah, I've, I've got to say, I've, I've been burnt out on the whole culture mashing deal for a long time, but something about this line just kind of like scream to me and it's not just because i'm a pro wrestling fan and a teenage mutant ninja turtles fan uh they just they did it right and i think that's the most important part especially because we have seen the turtles cross over with literally everything at this point uh, or it feels like literally everything and uh yeah just you can tell that the team at mattel had a ton of fun with this and it just rings true i i, I don't know i cannot recommend this stuff certainly like if this calls you go get it uh, and these are Target exclusives, unfortunately. So I uh, wish you the best of luck in that regard. Uh, I don't even know if there's landing pages for this wave, which is weird. But uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck in the wild or just finding on the secondary market if that's the way you have to go. Um, just absolutely worth picking up. Great figures. So uh, yeah, that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. If any of that appeals to you, come back. Let's talk about some nice plastic. Just escape the world for a while. But really, at the end of the day, I hope that you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.